a simple and easy dish. This is chicken and broccoli stir fry. You can eat this for lunch or dinner every day of the week. Enjoy. Today uh, I introduced a technique called velveting. So it makes the uh, chicken or beef or whatever meat more tender. Mmm, that is tender. Today's recipe we're making uh, chicken and broccoli stir fry. So we're going to use the broccoli crown. So when you buy the broccoli crown, it doesn't include the stock down here. So this is a little more expensive, but this way you don't uh, have to cut the, the, the stock here. So what you do is just wash uh, the crown. So we need about three of these crowns to make an order. So I'm just going to cut off the end here. And then what you do is just uh, cut it down the middle here, like this. And then you just uh, cut into stalks. Like that. So you cut it smaller if you want, but this way it's basically uh, just stalks. So if you find this piece rough, you just cut it off. But usually uh, we eat this part too. So usually the 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 stock here, you just cut off cut off the outside and then just slice it. So for this recipe, you need two to three crowns of broccoli, depending on uh, size. So there's about a little bit over two crowns right here. So we're gonna use uh, two thighs for this recipe. You can use. Uh, two breasts if you like, but uh, I like thighs, a dark meat. So when you buy the thigh with a bone, a little more inexpensive. If you buy it boneless, then you then you pay a little more, but this way you just uh, cut off the meat from the bones yourself, save a bit of money this way. So just cut it into slices. So the bone you can uh, use it for stir uh, for making chicken soup if you like you can also do an order with the bone so you can leave the bone on just by cutting it to uh, pieces eh? but today we're using a boneless chicken that's the meat from one thigh so we'll do the same thing with this other thigh normally with the uh, dark meat I don't have to marinate but I'm going to marinate it anyway. So I'll show you how to marinate. This is called velveting. So usually white meat is a little more dry. You can velvet the uh, white meat. Then that way you get a uh, more tender chicken. So I'm going to do it with the dark meat as well. And you can also use it for... You can also use this velvet method for other kind of meats like beef or pork. So we're going to use uh, some cornstarch here. So this is the Fleischmann brand. So put a, about a teaspoon of uh, cornstarch in there. Next we're going to put some uh, regular soy sauce, also known as light soy sauce. So put about a tablespoon in there. Next you put some uh, cooking oil, I have the peanut oil here. So put two or three tablespoons in there. I'm also going to put some uh, oyster flavor sauce. So this one is called the uh, Panda brand. This is made by Lee Kum Ki. The company is called Lee Kum Ki. Usually I use the uh, premium brand but for marinating. This is good for marinating. It's uh, about half the price of the premium uh, Lee Kum Ki uh, oyster sauce. So the more expensive sauce has more oyster extract in there. But this is pretty good for marinating. So this is an optional ingredient. This is a Shaoxing cooking wine. It's a nice uh, flavor for almost any dish that you make in Chinese cooking. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon in there. Maybe a little more, just if you want. So this adds a nice flavor to any marinade. So now I'm just going to marinate this uh, chicken. Uh, you should do it for at least uh, an hour before you cook. If you don't have time, uh, you can use it right away, but it's better to marinate at least an hour. 
uh, better if you just marinate it overnight. So just use uh, cellophane, cover it, and put it in the fridge overnight if you have time. So I always uh, put some ginger whenever I cook stir fry. So I put about this much, which is roughly maybe uh, two tablespoons. So you just take off the skin. I just do it this way. There's different ways of taking off the skin. Some people use the, uh, the the spoon or something to take it off. I just use the knife like this. So I like to uh, slice my ginger fairly large pieces. I just keep it large. If you cut it uh, into smaller pieces, it'll disintegrate if you turn on the wok really high. So I keep it in a large slice like this. Make sure you tuck in your finger when you slice the ginger. So you want a smaller piece like this, you can do it this way. I'm preheating the wok at uh, medium heat right now. I have maybe uh, three or four cups of broccoli here. So what I'm going to do is just boil it for uh, you know two or three minutes. The wok is going at uh, medium heat. So just as you put in the uh, oil, I'm going to turn it up to high heat. What about three tablespoons of cooking oil? This is peanut oil I have here. So I like to use peanut oil nowadays. So I have the two tablespoons of uh, sliced ginger I put in. Just give the ginger a quick stir fry and then uh, push the ginger to the side there. So I have the marinated chicken going in. It's got a nice sear. So mix in the ginger. Ooh, hot. Mmm, that's good. So the velveting technique for the chicken makes it uh, more tender, gives it more flavor. So it's really tasty. I'm going to take off the chicken, it's about 90% cooked. So I'm going to add it back in later. That uh, Chinese cooking wine, the Shaoqing uh, wine, really adds some taste to the uh, chicken. So just put a little more oil in there. And now I'm going to put some onions. So I'll put about a half a cup of onions in there. You don't have to, but I like onions. Goes good with the broccoli for the stir fry. Uh, onions are also aromatic. So the broccoli I put in the strainer. I'm just going to give it a quick stir fry. So if you have the uh, chicken broth, so you can put chicken broth in there or water. So I'll put about a half cup of uh, chicken broth or water. So I'm going to put some uh, black bean sauce here. This is the Lee Kam Kee brand. So for this size order, I'm just going to put about a tablespoon in there. Just as a general rule of thumb, if you use one tablespoon of black bean sauce, use half of that, or even a third of that, when you use this, uh, this uh, fermented black bean, also called preserved black bean, so different names for it, so you should give this a try. I'm going to add back the chicken now, and I have a, a tablespoon of cornstarch in a third of a cup of water. So I might not need the whole thing, but I'm just going to put it into the uh, sauce, just to thicken the sauce. So this one, uh, this dish, I don't need too much sauce, I just put a bit of the uh, cornstarch solution in there. But if you want uh, more sauce, you can 
put more liquid in there. So I'll just show you. So now you see there's more sauce in there. It's just a light coating of sauce. So that's about right. So not a lot of sauce, but there's a light coating of sauce. So I already had the sauce, I already uh, put the soy sauce and the oyster sauce in the marinade. If you want it more salty, you can put more oyster sauce and more of the uh, soy sauce. But I find uh, this is enough for me in terms of uh, saltiness. There you have it, a simple easy dish for everyday eating. Easy and simple to prepare. So this is chicken and broccoli stir fry. Enjoy. Today I use a technique called velveting, so it makes the chicken more tender. You can use this for beef or pork or other kind of meats. And it really takes a difference. So today I introduced a technique called velveting. It makes the meat more tender. And it really is. You should try it. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like and subscribe. Any comments are always welcome. Take care and stay safe.